Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do the blur on the highlights effect. Here's what I'm kind of talking about right here is we have a piece of footage and what I did was I applied a radial fast blur to this. So you can see that the blur is only happening from the highlights, which is actually really interesting is this sign almost acts like a spotlight in the fact that it comes through and it looks like, I don't know, yeah, it looks so cool. But anyway, this is the effect and so let me just show you the original footage right here. This is the original footage. There is no blur at all. So what we did was we just applied it and only to the highlights and we get this neat effect. So let's jump into it. First thing we need to do is we need to create ourselves a new composition. Click OK. Then we're going to go into our project. We're going to go and drag in our piece of footage. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to actually duplicate this footage. So we're going to click on it and then we're going to click Control D to duplicate it and then we're just going to go ahead and hide the bottom layer and that'll be important here in a second we're going to then search up here for curves click on curves and we're going to drag it on our top piece of footage and now what we're doing is what we need to do is we have to select the highlights of this footage and this is actually really easy to, to do all you have to do is click this and drag it straight over and what this is doing is it's saying that basically anything below a certain point turned to black and this helps because now all we have left are the highlights and the rest is black, which means we can use our handy tool, the screen tool right here, and it's going to actually remove all the black. You'll see that when we reactivate the bottom layer. If you notice, nothing changes when we activate this top layer. And that means we did our job right because that means we have something selected and it's not being added on top. So all we have selected on this layer right here is just the highlights. You'll see right there. So now that we have the highlights selected, we can actually begin to manipulate them. And so what I did was I actually went over here and I just searched blur. And so I used this effect right here called CC radial fast blur. And I just clicked that. I dragged it onto here and whoops, somehow I got two on there. Uh, then I just increased the amount right here. And if you want it to be a little brighter, I just duplicated the footage until it was at a brightness that I liked. And just like that, you have this neat effect where it is only blurring on the highlights. Now this one's a little bit extreme. So let me show you a more practical example of what you might use this for. So if we go ahead and select this one, all the way up to here and delete these, go back into original and delete this blur out of it. We can go over here, we can use something like a directional blur. Drop that on here, and then we can increase the blur length, and let's make this 90 degrees so that it's left to right, it's a horizontal blur. And if we increase this up to, I don't know, maybe like somewhere in the 400s, it doesn't look like much right now, but that's why we're gonna duplicate it to increase that intensity. And now you have this sort of dream sequence or stressful happening sequence um, with these blurs. And actually, if you watched Better Call Saul, the episode last night from when this video was posted actually used this effect to show um, the actor in pain whenever he went outside. He, they really like highlight all the highlights or the they blur all the highlights to kind of look like this and then they kind of do a couple other effects. But this is one of them that they do. And so yeah, that is really just the effect, is taking this, um, the piece of footage, applying the curves to it so that we're only selecting the highlights, then applying a blur and then the screen effect so that they are all just overlays to our original video. And then you have all the sort of control over it that you want. That is it, everybody. Thanks for joining me for this quick but really, really fun tutorial. Uh, if you got any questions or comments or suggestions for future tutorials, throw those in the comments section below. Uh, if you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I post videos every other day. And yeah, until next time, guys, see ya.